What is up guys, Alex here and today I'm going to teach you guys how to motion track your text onto your footage in Sony Vegas. Now I'm going to make this tutorial on motion tracking, I'm going to make 4 or 5 tutorials on it and each part is going to be around 10 minutes long and the reason I'm separating these this tutorial into parts is because I can't uh, render out you know, 50 minutes of a video in Sony Vegas because that would take too long and there are specific topics in each part that I want to uh, separate instead of just um, putting it all together in one video. So this is the introductory video in part one of motion tracking your text into your footage in Sony Vegas. So if you saw the example video from the start, uh, I basically used this footage and I motion track text to it. Now this footage is particularly easy to motion track to because all the camera is is that it's zooming out from the scene instead of a rotating or there's no camera shake or there's no angled motion on this footage. Now for this motion track we're going to be using the track motion tool and you can find it on this little icon of your video track. If you click it, you have a basic 2D plane with only a X and Y axis. So if you get this box and move it all around, here's my text and it's of course moving all over the screen. What we need to do is change this track motion and make it three dimensional and to do that we need to go to our compositing mode and set it to 3D source alpha. Now when you go back to your track motion, it's now a 3D track motion and you have different views for your front, left, and top uh, viewpoints. Now you're going to notice that you have a Z axis as well on your position, orientation, and rotation. And I'm going to show you the basic layout of it on an image. So here's our track motion basically without the 3D source alpha, you only have the Y and X axis, and here it is on a 3D graph. And this is the basic layout of our 3D track motion tool. You have the X and the Y axis, and then you're going to have your Z axis intersecting those two lines. Here's another example, your X and Y axis, and then your Z axis. Now the way this works, for the position, it still works the same as uh, our 2D track motion if you make any changes to the X or Y position. Uh, so basically X is left or right and if you change the Y position it basically goes up or down. But now for the Z axis, uh, if you set it to a value higher than 0, for an example 100, it's basically going to zoom out and if you set it to a negative value it's going to zoom inwards and that's how this is set up so the negative z-axis is facing towards you on the uh, preview screen now for the x and y and z rotation this is this option is basically the same as the orientation so you don't need to worry about the orientation or the rotation you can change either one and I'm just going to walk you through these three axis rotation if you change, make any changes to uh, any of these three rotations all it is is that it's rotating along uh, each of these three axis and that's basically all it is now on to the motion tracking part of this tutorial. Uh, so in the example video, I angled the text so that it's incorporated into the scene. So it looks like it's actually in there. So to do that, all I have to do is uh, scale this text down a little bit. So to do that, I'm just going to place my cursor on any of these four points. 
and I'm just going to click it and drag it inwards to make it smaller and we're going to motion track it to this little ledge right here and what I want to do is click on this box and bring it down to the general area of where this ledge is and for this one we're only going to be changing the rotation of the X and Y and Z axis so if I change the X rotation it's going to angle along the X axis but we don't want that what we want to do is uh, since this, the ledge is at an angle and the ledge is kind of coming a little bit closer on this side of the screen we want to change the Y rotation and we want the text to be angled the same way the ledge is angled like this example and then for the Z rotation we don't have to change it as much since it's only tilting it on the Z axis so set the Z rotation to 0 and now for the important part you want to make sure you know where it's originally placed the text so I'm gonna make sure that the two letters of track TR are um, right beside this little plant right here and that's gonna be my marking point so that if I move to a different frame on this video I know where uh, the text is supposed to be and that's the way automatic motion tracking in Adobe After Effects works and that's the same way uh, manual motion tracking works as well so go back into our track motion and we want to go all the way to the end of this video and as you see the text is misplaced so what we want to do is again place your cursor on any of the uh, four points and bring it in to scale it down since uh, the footage is basically zooming out of this scene and make sure you don't scale it too small because the camera isn't going isn't zooming out too fast All right and we originally placed it right above this ledge so what we want to change is the Y position and set the Y position to a lower value so right now it's at negative 124 we probably want to set it to negative 100 and as you see it's right above the ledge alright and we're basically done for this part so let's preview it and that's how you do motion tracking for this type of situation um, and this type of footage in Sony Vegas. So that's the end of part one of my motion tracking tutorial series. Uh, I'm gonna upload the other parts to this uh, tutorial um, probably once each week. I'm not gonna upload them all at the same time so you can uh, wait for them if you want. I'm gonna have other tutorial tutorials as well. So again if you like the video please like it and uh, comment on it and share it with your friends and I'll see you guys next time.